Really great to meet you. Uh, yeah. You have a new album out now, and you're uh, starting your North American tour the, this week. Yes, this sir. Past week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, congrats on that. Thank you very much. I mean, super happy to be here. Um, we just did a show in LA, San Francisco. Flew out to Great Seattle. I love the city. Came here to perform, and uh, it's very, very humbling. Very excited, and uh, happy to meet you. So yeah, thank you for having me. For those that may not know a lot about your background, mm -hmm. uh, where are you from originally? And mm -hmm. there, how did you get into music? Well, uh, I was born in Korea. I was born in South Korea. And uh, when I was four years old, my whole family immigrated to Canada. So um, we settled in Vancouver. And I lived there till 22, 22 years old. Since four years old to 22 years old. So that's like 18 years of my life I lived in Vancouver. and. Um, yeah, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of Korean music, uh, listening to a lot of, you know, Western music as well. And being influenced by both, I just naturally grew up and um, wanted to pursue music as, as well. And now I'm here. <laughs> it's crazy. So how did you make that jump from Vancouver back to Korea to pursue your career? I mean, I always felt like there was a place for me in, in, in Korea, uh, especially in Seoul. I always had uh, the interest in the culture, uh, although I didn't grow up as much I, as I did in Vancouver. I always had the uh, appreciation for, um, you know, the music and the entertainment business in Korea. I just always I was always interested in the movies and dramas and stuff like that. And now the world is kind of catching on, but we had that for a very long time, and um, I fell in love with it, you know, and uh, it, it really got me into. Uh, writing songs in Korean as well, uh, listening to a lot of uh, Korean R&B at the time, that was like a big thing. And um, I made the decision to go on a vacation to Korea after I graduated high school. And um, I think I went there a second time after I graduated college as well. And that's when I made the decision. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to move to Korea and pursue music. So that's what I did. And I, oh, man, I lucked out, man. I had a lot of people helping me out. And, you know, I'm just really grateful for, you know, everyone that really supported me and just make, made my dreams come true. And now I'm here and doing shows in North America. It's kind of it's ironic, but at the same time, it's really beautiful. So I'm happy. What was kind of that first step um, once you got to Korea that was like, this is how I start? It's like starting from rock bottom, you know, I don't know what to expect. Um, the, the whole purpose for me was to become an artist and I wanted to you know, make it big, you know, dream big, go to Korea and do something, do something great. But, you know, life doesn't, it isn't easy as it looks. It's not like a movie, right? You know, I got to work hard. And obviously in the beginning times, I struggled a little bit uh, living in like a small studio space and, um, you know, not, not having a lot of friends as well because I didn't grow up there. <laughs> but getting used to the culture and finding out new people and really just connecting with a lot of talented musicians and just the timing and everything was really great for me and I like I said I lucked out and um, I just kept my head up and started writing songs left and right every day I think in a week I wrote about like 30 songs a week and stuff like that so and once I did that I kind of got into the songwriting uh, aspect of everything and started writing for a lot of k-pop artists and that really helped me put myself on another another level uh, in terms of music and and while I was doing that, I was releasing stuff on the side uh, on my, under my own name, and that got a little attention from the whole K-pop writing stuff. And just you know, each sides kind of like fed off each other and got me here. Yeah. Yeah. How did you kind of get into writing for some of the biggest artists in the industry, <laughs> yeah. writing some of the biggest songs in the industry? I mean, people that appreciated just my appreciated my music and you know um somehow found me on uh, soundcloud or spotify or wherever it may, maybe they hit me up and um i think one of the biggest ones was from sm uh an a and r from sm contacted me and asking me to uh join for a song camp and i didn't know what a song camp was and i only knew that it was sm and i was like okay that seems like a great opportunity and you know i I said, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. And I went there 
had a great time. I got to meet a lot of songwriters there. And um, like I said, man, I lucked out and they really liked the song I made and um, it got the cut. And after that, you know, once, once you work on a song together, they really know what to expect from you. And I think uh, that's, and if they like you and they like the song that you make, they, uh, you know, ask for more. And from there, I just started writing more songs uh, with the people that I met at the camp. Um, so I made new friends, uh, I made new colleagues, <laughs> I made new businesses, and I made more opportunities for myself. And uh, yeah, so that's how it happened. So I, I can't really tell you like a strict textbook, uh, step one, two, three, like how I did it. It's more like, I just went along with the ride and it just led me here. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous to be honest, but it's just, I gotta say, man, I lucked out and I'm very, very thankful for everything that's happened so far. So looking back at some of the songs you've written for other artists, um, is there a song you're kind of like, I wish I would've kept that for myself? <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of them to be honest, but I, I, I really do like uh, the song Um by Kai. I mean, that song is amazing. And it's not just, I didn't write the whole thing, obviously. There was a bunch of talented musicians and songwriters that were part of it. And when I first heard the, the instrumental and um, just like the hook itself, I was just, I fell in love with the song and I wanted to be a part of it. And um, I'm just happy that I, you know, gave my, gave my two cents <laughs> and just kind of contributed. But uh, yeah, that's one of the songs that I, I felt like, wow, I, I kind of want to do this myself too, you know? But, yeah. But, you know, respect to him, respect to Kai, he's amazing. And all the other artists too, I, I, if, it, if it was up to me, I'd take them all. But, um, you know, I'm happy that they're, uh, they, they enjoyed the song and I'm happy that they're uh, on stage and performing it. It's such a privilege. So speaking of doing it for yourself, uh, your new album's out. Uh, yes, tell sir. me a little bit about the album. Mm -hmm. The album's called Blanc. And uh, the reason why is because I wanted to describe myself throughout the album and I always felt like you know um, living my career like doing this whole music thing in Korea I felt like more of a, a blank canvas rather than uh, someone with like a really strong like foundation of a color and just kind of you know leading people on I was more swayed like easily swayed this and that so um, just taking in a lot of uh, other people's energy and the, their their styles. I, I kind of thought of them as colors and just, you know, I imagined myself, you know, painting myself with, with these different colors and eventually the whole canvas becoming a, a beautiful picture and that's who I am. So um, that's why I called it Blanc and, you know, being Canadian, I had to put a little bit of French in there. I couldn't call it Blanc. <laughs> and, uh, I just... I just came up with that idea one day and I felt like uh, that would have been a great title for an album and I just kept working on it, you know, and I worked on it for a year. Uh, obviously, being a songwriter as well on the side, it, it, it really took a lot of my time. But in 2022, uh, I kind of pushed everything off and focused right on this album and I was able to finish it with a bunch of my uh, songwriting uh, partners and teams and everything and it was great and now it's finally out and I'm doing this tour so uh, yeah it talks a lot about me it talks a lot about what I've been through through the through the years and uh, who I aspire to be and a little message for the fans as well so it's got a little bit of everything do you have a favorite song on the album yeah I mean I always say like the title song is my favorite that's why it's the title song and um and you know we don't have that in uh, the in our in the Western music. We don't have something called a title song, but th that's what we have in Korea. And um, it's a song that represents the album, you know. And I think uh, the song "Not About You" really represents w the sound that I want to go for and what I intended on. But uh, a personal little favorite of mine is, is something called "Boyhood." It's a track called "Boyhood," and I really like that song because um, it just talks about the next step. And that's what I've been thinking these days. You know, I've been I've been doing this for for quite a while now. Not not too long, but you know, I feel like it, it, there's a next step for me now, and it's the next chapter, and it's time for me to really let go of the past and you know say goodbye and and open up a new door for a, a brighter future. So yeah, that's why I, that's why I gotta say Boyhood is my favorite favorite song. Yeah. I think O oh, is probably my favorite. Oh yeah, that, that's the one uh, I have. I have a lot of songs saved to a playlist, and that's the one that I keep 
Oh wow! In fact, I missed some of it. I restarted. Oh man, I'll do thank that you, a few times, thank so, yeah, you, man, really thank good. you. Appreciate it. Your career started just a few years ago, really. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, pandemic and all, yeah. but um, now you're on a world tour. <laughs> so, so how how has this been so far? I know um, you were just in Paris recently. Yeah. Um, and I in was. London as yes. well. I mean, yeah. so how's it how's it going? I mean, uh, to track back two years ago, uh, two three years ago, when when I first debuted, uh, I mean there wasn't much for me to really go out and perform because of the pandemic it was it was a very hard full time and everyone was struggling with uh you know everything and uh, i think that gave me uh, the opportunity to write more music and just become who i am now and now i'm fully ready to really you know show my uh my capabilities as a performer and to really go out there uh, first of all go to you know london and paris and perform there it was an amazing, amazing experience, and now I'm doing this tour, North American tour, which is crazy to me, and seeing a lot of people come see me, it's like a dream come true. I've been dream dreaming about this ever since the beginning, you know? Uh, it's like, uh, it's what you dream of, and you really see it come to life, and it's, uh, it's very, it's very special, very special. Being so close to Vancouver, do you have anybody from home coming uh, down here to see you? Um, not in Seattle, uh, but I do have a show in Vancouver as well. So a lot of a lot of my family and friends are kind of going to come, and that's a little special for me as well. But I think Seattle ho holds a special place in my heart because I've always lived uh, lived close, and I've always drove down here and uh, visiting my uh, my grand uncle. Uh, he he used to live in Seattle, not anymore, but for a very long time, so I'd come to see him. Our whole family would drive down to see him, and my grand, uh, grand aunt, <laughs> my grand aunt as well. And, you know, um, I'm just used to the city. Uh, I love watching baseball, so I love the Mariners uh, and stuff like that. So it feels special to perform here as well, and to know that there are people that are listening to my music in Seattle as well. It's kind of surreal. <laughs> it's kind of surreal, yeah. What are you looking forward to with, I mean, your album's still new, so <laughs> yeah. you've still got promotions for this as well as the tour. What are you looking forward to the most? I mean, uh, you know, uh, keeping, uh, keeping my health up and finishing this tour on a, on a very high level and being able to really uh, get my name out there. And I'm, to be honest, I'm looking forward to the new music that I'm going to be writing afterwards. Um, I'm, I've been f taking a lot of, lot of inspiration and just everything has been just like a magical experience and even this interview right now, it's crazy. So like just taking all this energy and you know, go being able to go back home after the tour and going to go into my studio and just writing more music, that's, I think that's what I'm more excited about and um, to release uh, you know, better, better content for my fans and um, the future. Yeah, I'm excited. So you just want more work for yourself? <laughs> I, I guess so, man. I mean, uh, I got a lot of left in me, so I just, um, I don't feel any like burnout or anything. I'm just really excited for more, you know, and I'm, I'm going to keep on continuing to, you know, grow as an artist and, you know, come back and really show uh, and show my appreciation to the fans that, you know, came out to see me at this tour and in the future, you know, who knows what will happen, but I'm just excited. And then finally, uh, kind of what are, what are your, your long-term goals for your career? Do you want to keep producing for others, uh, featuring with others? Like what, what's kind of your goal? Well, that was kind of a blurry moment for me uh, last year in 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, you know, being able to release an album of my own and go on tour like this, it, it hit me, you know, it hit me real hard and it, it made me realize uh, made me remember why I came, I went to Korea in the first place. I wanted to be an artist and I wanted to make my own music and that was the whole purpose of it, right? So um, it got me back in line and I think that's what I want to do. And I love songwriting, I love writing for other, other artists, but you know, um, I don't think that will be a priority anymore. It's more of, uh, I'm thinking more of myself now and I want to release music under my own name. And uh, to be able to do both would be great, but if I had to choose one, man, I just, I, I gotta stick with my dreams, you know, and see where it goes, so. Anything you would like to say to your fans about the tour, about the album, your Of course. Um, I mean, from the beginning until now, it's been a, 
amazing, amazing ride. And uh, I got a lot of stuff left in me. So hope they're very, very excited for what's to come. And I just want to say thank you for everything, everything. And I just want to see everyone uh, in person and be able to perform for them. And so uh, just hold on tight wherever you guys may be. I mean, do I look at this camera? <laughs> This yeah, one, this yeah, one, one, I mean, wherever you may be, just, uh, you know, hold tight. I, I may be going over to your city to perform for you, and um, new music coming soon. And thank you so much for always listening, and uh, love you guys so much. Thank you.